What'd you get? Puppy drum? Nice. Puppy drum? Here we go, y'all. So what did that take a whole minute to find a few sand fleas? And this is your bait right here. What people around here call sand fleas, but they're actually mole crabs. Okay. That's a colloquial name. That's okay. what that's what uh, these animals are. He's on. Nice. You guys, what's happening? Jeff and I are down here at one of our all time favorite fisheries ever, the Outer Banks in North Carolina. If you guys have never been here, pristine beaches and one of the top places just for fishing off the beach. So, you guys don't need a boat, nothing fancy. There's piers, there's tons of beaches. So, today we're just gonna have a little fun in the sun, catching some fish, and show you guys how to catch bait. That's right, people. So, this is for all y'all beach anglers out there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show y'all how to catch your own bait, and we're also gonna just show y'all how to have fun, a little fun in the sun fish catching action right here toes in the sand that's right just beautiful ocean that we have today you guys the ocean is super clear y'all so the target species today it's just gonna be our fun beach fishing fish it's gonna be like sea mullet maybe some pompano uh, maybe some red fish maybe a black drum maybe some trout maybe some, some trout <laughs> that's the beauty of fishing on the beaches yeah. you never know what the heck you're gonna catch. Can even catch Spanish mackerel right here off the beaches which is absolutely epic so Y'all, we're gonna go ahead. First off, we're gonna start by catching some sand fleas. That's right. right. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna show y'all how to catch your own bait. Christiane, we just came down here. All we have is our two fishing poles, just like your normal bass fishing rods. That's it, that's all you need. Mm -hmm. Tiny hooks, but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna show y'all how to catch your own bait. We don't have any bait right yeah, now. Yeah, no so bait. Catch it. All right, so if you guys have ever been to the beach before as a kid, y'all have probably caught sand fleas. I grew up catching sand fleas, so now as an adult, it's kind of hilarious because I'm back here where I was as a kid. All right, so you guys want to kind of start where the sand is like a little wet. You don't have to go too far into the water, but not like the dry sand. So kind of like right where the water comes up to. And this is where we're going to start digging in the sand for these like little sand fleas, sand crabs. And you guys just kind of like grab a handful of sand, start feeling around. It usually doesn't take very long at all. Here we go, y'all. Get away. So what did that take a whole minute to find a few sand fleas? And this is your bait right here. There it is, people. Little sand crabs. That's what we're using for bait. <laughs> Look at this. These are all gonna catch us some of our fish today. Ooh, you did hit the mother one. All right, I'm putting these in my pocket. All right, here we go. These going in your pocket? <laughs> yeah, they're going right in my pocket. There we go. All right. Four sand fleas. Just here we go, babe. Y'all, so you guys can get, if you guys don't want to catch these off the beach, you guys can pick them up frozen at your local tackle shop, but like, this is honestly super fun. Right, Literally, that's all you're doing. You just dig in the sand and you'll feel them. When you feel something hard and moving, that's the sand for you. Yep. Just like that. Here's a little baby one. So sand fleas are like the primary bait for Pompano loves sand fleas. Sheep's head loves sand fleas. You'll even catch flounder on sand fleas too. Everything eats that's sand cool. fleas. So when you guys are digging, That'll work. Okay, Christy displayed her way of catching sand fleas. I'm gonna show y'all. The manly way? A manly way of catching them, right? Okay. So this is how you do it. So again, you guys, pretty much. You wanna be right where, right where the water is breaking up and washing down, just like this. So just have your do, toes in the sand. You might wanna stand back. I like to just grab a big clump of sand and turn it over just like this. And there's one, two, three, four. <laughs> so. You guys can do however you want. You can kind of pick them out in the sand, or I like to just like flip over a big Jeff clump. likes to be like a guy and throw sand. That's right. So I've got these, these guys big, so they'll even get lost in your hand. So I got, so what our predator fish do is when these guys get exposed, that's when our like sheep's head and flounder will come and just destroy these guys. And definitely makes a great meal. These fish love these things because they're really high in protein and it's just like a crab or anything else. So I've got like five in my hand. Let's see where the other one is. This is so funny. Jeff is literally sticking all of the sand fleas in his pocket, but. There we go, that's a big one. That one? Yeah, look at that. Nice. Big. big kahuna. So as far as the size, they don't need to be giant, but make sure they're not like teeny, teeny, tiny. You want to make sure you guys can get a good hook on them. Um, honestly, when I'm, like fishing for sheep's head or pompano you guys don't need like the massive ones although that they will eat those so they make these you know sand rakes i'm sure we're gonna get a ton of comments you guys will be like why aren't you guys just using a sand flea rake because we don't have one you don't need one all you need is your hands that's all you need 
you can use at the tackle shops, you can buy it. It's just a rake and then it gets out all the sand and then you can just catch the sand fleas, so it's super easy. That's the easy way to do it. This is the fun way to do it. I feel like a kid again. Yeah, so sand flea rakes are available at your local tackle shops. But if you guys don't have one, and all you guys have is a bass fishing rod or a light action trout rod, that's perfect. Um, today we're gonna be using a high-low rig, which we'll kind of show you the setup here in a minute. It is super, super easy. Woo. Oh yeah, I got it. All right, let's start fishing, and if we lose our baits, then we'll just catch more sand fleas. All right. There we go, sand flea fishing, people. There he is. All right. There we go. There we go. All right, people. First fish on. Probably a sea mullet. Be cool if it was a pompano. On the sand, please. Target species. All right, people. So Quentin, so Quentin Turco and his buddy Stefan Turco came out, and we're doing a little sea mullet fishing. You guys, this is a blast. You can catch these guys. I don't know. We're just catching them like right close to the pier. Tiny little hooks, little sand fleas. So there it is. Make good eating too. Some people call these roundheads, sea mullet, hey. kingfish. They're gonna get. We're gonna get so many comments. People always, you know, they're like. That's not a sea mullet, that's a round head. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, so we're just out here having a little fun in the sun. But Stefan Turco, Quentin Turco, you guys check them out. They're local Outer Banks people, and they got awesome Instagrams, so you guys check them out. But sea mullet, there it is, people. What people around here call sand fleas, but they're actually mole crabs. Okay. That's a colloquial name. That's okay. what that's what uh, these animals are. He's on. Nice, we got one. All right, you guys, Stefan's on. All right, guys, Quentin's on over here. Get it, Quinn. What you get? Puppy drum? Nice. Puppy drum? <laughs> get you some, Quinn. All right. Nice work. Pretty thank you, thank you. All right, y'all. So you guys don't even need to go to the tackle shop to buy bait if you guys have small hooks or... Really just jig hands. Look at the job done. Nice. Look at that, he's got a little nick on his back. Oh wow. Thank you. Super simple. Full jig hat, dig up some sand fleas. Alright. Yeah, so you guys, Quentin right here, just got here. What, not even like 10 minutes yeah, ago? He's crazy. already getting on puppy drum. So we just literally went over to the pier, dug up some fresh sand fleas. And he's got just a what quarter ounce jig hand? Uh 316. Nice. Okay, 316. All right, I'm about to get me some of that and rig up here. <laughs> yeah. All right, people. All we need is just these small little sand fleas. We don't need the giant ones. The small ones, the sea mullet, love those just the same, if not even more. So the small sand fleas work literally Probably even a little better. As you can see, it sits on the hook perfectly just like that. You don't need the big ones. Small, the small ones work just fine. All right, people, fish on. That's a good one. That's a good one. What do we have here? Don't know what I got, but it's something. Oh, it's going to the boogie borders. Stay out of the boogie borders. Nice sea mullet. That's the eating size sea mullet that we want. All right, y'all, that's the fun size that we're after right there. 
Nice work, babe. There yeah, it is. We are slaying these sea mullet. Nice. Super job. fun. These guys actually put up a really, really good fight in the surf. I almost thought this guy was like a puppy drum when he first hit. But these guys make a really good meal. We're just catching a release scene today. We just wanted to show you guys how easy that it is for you guys to catch these big old sea mullet. How fun you guys can have right here in the surf. Fun in the sun. There he goes. I'm Yeah, there we go. All right, people, second fish. Feels like another sea mullet. Look at that school of bait fish right there. Let's see what we got. Little sea mullet. All right, people. Woo! There he goes. Time to get more bait. I think I got him. Oh, yeah. Here. I didn't make mine right. All right, people, fish on. Fish on. Feels like another sea mullet. Let's see what we got. This water is so beautiful today. Another little sea mullet. All right, people, another little fun sea mullet. See you later, dude.